Paige and today's video is going to be a review of the California Love Collection from ColourPop. I ordered the entire collection so I have the eyeshadow palette, I have some lippies, I have eyeliners, I have mascaras. So um, this is the look that I ended up creating with it. I absolutely have fallen in love with this look right here, especially this lip. You guys, I am... I actually have feelings for a lip other than a pinky nude. <laughs> um, so yeah, I also tried out some new lashes from D Star Lashes. These are from the new bridal collection that just launched. And yeah, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and let's get started. All right, you guys, so I have most of my makeup done, as you can tell, aside from my eyes, my highlight, and my lips. I have my box of ColourPop right here, and I actually don't talk about ColourPop on my channel very often, um, and that's really just because I don't really buy a lot of ColourPop and I don't have a specific reason for that other than I've just never really kept up with the launches for some reason but recently I have been a lot more interested in ColourPop and all of their collections and I've been really tempted to buy a couple of the collections but then when I saw this California Love collection I was like okay that's it I'm ordering this entire collection so I got this entire collection bundle thing for $60 from the ColourPop website you can buy all these items individually but you can also buy them as a whole but there isn't a price difference it's not like a deal there's no value difference between the buying them all individually versus buying the entire thing it's the same retail price as what you're paying if that makes sense so basically you don't save money by buying the bundle but um it just makes it a lot easier so you don't have to like go through and like you know click a bunch of items <laughs> and make sure that you got one of each i don't know it's it's silly but um it is sort of convenient especially for some launches like jeffree star did this on beautylish and that made it so easy so i appreciate when brands come out with the whole bundle thing so Anyway, um, I my mom is actually the one that was like, Paige, like, there's this palette from ColourPop and we need it. So um, I introduced her to uh, the Trend Mood Instagram a couple weeks ago and ever since then she's been like all up to date, even like ahead of me. And I have Trend Mood's post notifications on, so um, she's been seeing things before I'm even seeing them. But yeah, so she told me she was buying this palette and I was like, okay, well, I want one too. So I went ahead and got the entire collection and it came with the California Love eyeshadow palette which looks like this super cute um, we also have two cream gel liners um, we have two volumizing mascaras and then we have five lip products and I've never tried a ColourPop eyeliner or mascara before um, I have tried their lippies but not in a really long time like back in like 2015 I think was the last time I purchased a ColourPop lip product so uh yeah it came in a super cute peach colored box and um they actually sent me a little single pressed powder shadow and it's there's a little card in here and it says sorry we're late so um I guess the shipping took longer but I didn't notice because I was in Alaska when my mom ordered it and when it was received here. I've never tried the single shadows from ColourPop either. I've literally like hardly tried anything from ColourPop. I actually just ordered some neon makeup from ColourPop and I haven't played around with that yet but I ordered some of the uh, Super Shock shadows. Um, I ordered a pigment and then I also ordered a bunch of their gel liners in all the neon colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and open... Oh geez, I just threw everything. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and open everything and then we'll do swatches and then a demo and things like that. I put the jacket back on. I'm not sure how long that's gonna last, but um, I'm trying to look cute, but it's just too hot. <laughs> so um, my mom actually was so kind and was at the grocery store and got me a white monster. So this is like the perfect thing that I needed. So I've got it in my bling brushes cup with my Jeffree Star metal straw and I'm just like, mm. I'm in heaven right now. All right, so we're gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette. This is the packaging on the palette. It's super cute. I love this orange color and the gold and white accents are just like so perfect. I love this aesthetic so freaking much. 
if that wasn't obvious to you so here is what the palette looks like on the inside i think it's absolutely gorgeous there's so many different finishes in here there's some really like glittery metallic shades we've got some mattes we've got some more subtle metallics so i'm just going to go ahead and swatch these row by row this first one is called diego oh my gosh that is blinding this next one is gnarly this is a matte it's like you know really close to my skin tone color but i feel like i'm gonna love that eyeshadow this one is called sequoia i hope i said that right <laughs> this next one is called gold rush those last three are all mattes they're so buttery and smooth so there is the top row of the eyeshadows right there on the next row we're gonna start with this shade right here this one is called highway one that one's really pretty it looks like a matte with some slight silver i mean gold glitter uh this next one is called laguna that's a really pretty matte this next one is called el capitan <laughs> probably said that wrong this one is like looks like a pressed freaking glitter oh my word that is insane and then the last one in this row is called surf rider I've never been to California, so if I'm like saying these names incorrectly or I don't know what it is, that's why. <laughs> Ooh, that is a matte that has glitter where you can actually see the glitter in it. Like, you know, I don't know. I feel like a lot of times with matte shadows that have glitter in them, you see it in the pan, but then when you apply it, you like don't see it at all. But I freaking see the glitter in this shade. Um, that one is so beautiful. This is the glitter. Oh my goodness wow i'm shook and then here is the last shade in the middle row the jacket was just too hot i, c I can't do it you can see the sweat on my upper lip i need to cool down for a second i've been using this little thing that i got i don't even know where i got it it's like a little fan that you plug into your phone like that in the charger thing and then it starts going and i've been like trying to dry off my upper lip <laughs> while i'm filming <laughs> It's raining. <laughs> what is going on? Now we're going to do the bottom row right here. This first one is called C A H U E N G A. Not sure how that's pronounced, but there it is right there. That's a really pretty metallic shade. The next one is called Mission. This looks like a matte brown. There might be a slight glitter in there, but it's hard to say. The next one is called Cruisin'. That is a gold metallic shade. And then the last one here is called The Bay. Wow, okay. Sorry if you can hear the rain. I'm. It's really loud for me. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's really loud to me. <laughs> so here are the shades. These just swatch so well. Like, what? I've only used one other ColourPop eyeshadow palette before. I have a couple, and I haven't used them yet. But um, the only other one that I've ever used is this pink one right here called Ooh La La. And I've used it twice, and I really like it, honestly. Like, the mattes are amazing. The shade is amazing. Um, so, yeah. That's the only other eyeshadow palette I've used from ColourPop before. I have used their Super Shock shadows, like, like i said like 2015 um but i'm really excited to use this palette so now we're going to move on to mascara there are two mascaras there is a brown one called brownie points and then this one is called lover's coral so i'm guessing it's like a coral mascara so um this is the packaging i think it's really really cute i've never used a ColourPop mascara before so um this is the brown one in the shade brownie points and then this is the coral one in the shade lover's coral we've got two gel liners they're both kind of like brown coppery bronzy shades this first one is called overboard and this looks like a brown bronzy metallic shade wow that's really really pretty right there i did pretty uh, a pretty thick swatch so that you could see that um, I don't really wear air, uh, airliner <laughs> eyeliner very often, but um, I will wear it for the sake of this video. <laughs> and then this one is more of a lighter kind of champagne-y coppery shade. And this one is called, oh shoot, the entire tip just broke off. Like, the entire tip. And I didn't even roll it up at all. Well, dang. Okay. 
Oh, this one's like a lot smoother than the other one, but it's like really, really soft. So um, there is the second shade right there called Get Paid. That sucks that it's so like squishy. Then we have five lippies right here. I'm not sure what the finish of these are. They all say Ultra Blotted Lip. So, um, I know they have like the matte ones, they have satin, and they have glosses, but, um, I don't know what the ultra blotted lips are. I don't know if that's new or if I'm just like out of the loop, but, um, I'm gonna do lip swatches of all of the shades as well as hand swatches. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the eyeshadow application. To start things off, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and... To apply it, I'm going to be using the E4 brush from the Rose Gold Collection from Blinged Brushes. So, um, I just recently started doing this, but um, so far I feel like this has definitely improved the performance of my eyeshadows. I used to not really, you know, not that I didn't believe in eyeshadow primers, but I just never used to see a difference. Um, like that big of a difference to where it was worth it to me to take the time to prime my eyes. <laughs> But um, I think that using a paint pot where there's like actual pigment to it and like having it cancel out my eyelids, like the pigmentation on my eyelids and I don't know. I just have been really liking this paint pot and I used to always see people use it and I was always like, nah, like not for me, like you don't need that. But honestly, like this is worth every penny for me so far. So the first shade that I'm going to go in with is this one right here. This is the shade Gnarly. And I'm taking the E2 from the silver set from Bling Brushes. And, oh, <laughs> I just went to look in the mirror, but there is no mirror. So uh, I'm going to need to get a mirror right quick. I'm just going to uh, basically place this in the crease. I'm going for a more natural look today. <laughs> I'm taking some pictures for D-Star Lashes. Um, D-Star Lashes just came out with two new collections. They have a baddie collection and a bridal collection and I'm helping launch the bridal collection because I'm more of like a natural lash kind of gal. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be helping them with that so uh, I will be using one of those pairs of lashes today one of the new styles from the bridal collection and when I say I'm doing something more natural I mean more neutral so basically not pink <laughs> so far the shadow is blending out like a dream it's so pretty so buttery so smooth so now I'm gonna go in with another matte shade I think now I'm gonna take my E3 from the Silver Bling Brushes collection and I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is called The Bay. And I'm not sure how much darker of a shade it is than the one that's already on my lid, but I'm just gonna work this into the crease. It's definitely a lot more of like a warm tone shade, um, but I can't tell if it's deeper or not. I'm also just sort of stamping that same shade in the outer corner of my eye with that same exact brush. Now I'm going to go in with the E5 from the Silver Set from Bling Brushes and I'm going to go in with this shade right here which is called Diego and I'm going to apply this basically to the inner two thirds of my eye um, and then I might try to apply some of this like really glittery shade on top of that but we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to go in with a dry brush and see how pigmented and metallic this looks and I might step it up by wetting the brush afterwards. Oh yeah baby. So I did experience quite a bit of fallout down here but we'll see how easily that wipes away in a second. So this is what the shade looks like on the lid. It's very beautiful. It applied really easily like I didn't take any effort but I do want to see if I can intensify things by wetting the brush. So I'm going to use the I Heart Revolution fixing spray and this is the peaches and cream scent. I just ordered the other three scents because they were just on sale for like four dollars and eighty cents um, on Ulta's website. So I just got more product on the brush and I'm just gonna spray it. That was kind of a lot, honestly. <laughs> so we'll see if this makes a difference. Oh, frick yes. That made a huge difference. Like that, that is metallic right there. All right, so uh, moment of truth. I'm going to wipe away the fallout with the F1 from the Silver Collection from Bling Brushes. This is my favorite powder brush of all time. Um, let me look closer up in a mirror. So, it's basically wiping away. 
there's still some glitter left on my face oh my god my foundation is breaking up so bad right here from me sweating oh no 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 that looks horrible okay Ooh, hopefully you can't see that too well on camera i've been loving this foundation this is the milani conceal and perfect foundation i have it in the shade 03 light beige and i've been wearing this since i got home from alaska every single day and i'm freaking obsessed um but this is not good i don't know if that's the foundation that's breaking apart or if it's the powder i use the Too faced born this way loose setting powder but um it's not a good combo for sweat so uh yeah now i'm going to go ahead and try to apply these shadows are really soft like especially this one like there was a lot of kick up or whatever that's called um so now i'm gonna go ahead and try to apply a little bit of this glitter i'm not sure where do i go the inner corner or like the middle of the lid mm, i think i'm gonna go the middle of the lid i don't know what looks good <laughs> um but i am gonna be using a brush so i'm looking for a clean brush somewhere this is the jh41 from morphe and i'm gonna go right into that shade should I do the inner corner or the middle of the lid? Ugh, I wish I could ask you guys like right now. So I actually ended up just packing it over the entire lid and it didn't make a huge difference, but you can definitely see like the glitter now. Um, it's not applying like the easiest. I actually just used pressed glitters for the first time from the brand With Love Cosmetics and I ordered those and they were amazing. Like those exceeded my expectations and this one is not as good as those in my opinion um i'm getting lots and lots of fallout like lots of fallout it's super like chunky um but it's pretty it's very faint but it's pretty so um definitely like an extra step but i feel like it definitely took it to the next level Alrighty, so i'm gonna go back in with the e3 from bling brushes and i'm gonna go into the shade the bay and i'm just gonna kind of run this along my lower lash line just to balance out the eye a little bit because i feel like my under eye looks naked <laughs> compared to the top so for liner we have both of these liners and i think i'm gonna go in with the lighter one that is called get paid and i'm gonna apply this this is the one that broke off but i'm gonna apply this to my waterline <laughs> and see how it goes i literally never do this so well i don't even I don't even know if I remember how that went on like butter I don't know it's probably been like years since I really applied eyeliner to my waterline I'm still getting fallout like as time goes on from that glitter shade um but eyeliner used to be so hard to put on like technology must have improved a lot <laughs> when I was in middle school I used to have to like pull down my eyelid and like scrub on my waterline no matter what eyeliner I use so I didn't even I'm I'm kind of blown away right now <laughs> I just poked myself in the eye okay um so for lashes okay you guys this is where things I am so excited so I have two of the four new bridal collection lashes so the two styles I have are Deborah which is this style right here look at that lace look at that lace detail that is cute like this could not be cuter oh my gosh okay so this is the style deborah and then i also have this one i think it's pronounced camella camella yeah it's k-a-m-e-l-a -E and this is what camella looks like very natural very dainty here they are next to each other i'm trying to get it so there's not a glare <gasps> yes deborah is on top i'm gonna be using deborah today so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara and i'm realizing that since i'm applying lashes i need to put on some black mascara and the only mascaras that i have from ColourPop are brown and coral so um i might use the brown one on my lower lash line and then i'll have to save the coral one for another day but um i definitely need to have black mascara for my eyes so um i'm gonna be using the Too faced better than sex mascara this is one of my favorites but some other good ones are the uh, covergirl um exhibitionist mascara <laughs> exhibitionist exhibitionist mascara the wonder 2 mascara is really well really well really good as well and then the full fat lashes from charlotte tilbury those are like my favorite four mascaras at the moment 
Oh frick, I just applied mascara to my lower lash line without thinking. I'm gonna use the Morphe High Impact Highlighter in the shade Extra. We're just gonna put this on the cheekbones. This is more of like a natural, like inner glow kind of highlight, but it's really pretty. I'm also gonna put this on the brow bone and inner corner using another JH41. This is a clean brush. Um, and I just like to use the same highlighter on my cheeks and my eyes because I feel like it makes everything look more cohesive. So this is the finished eye look. I'm loving these lashes. This is my first time wearing them and I'm literally obsessed. Um, I guess now we're going to move on to lip swatches and then we will be done. The first lip shade that we're going to be swatching is this one right here. It is in the shade scenic routes or scenic roots i don't know i don't know how you guys say it um i feel like i say it differently like i'll say route 66 but i feel like i would say like what is the best route to get somewhere i do have a little bit of lip liner on right now i'm wearing the charlotte tilbury lip cheat lip liner in the shade pillow talk i just have like a tiny bit on my lips this lip liner is heavenly like it hasn't budged on my lips all day um, and I never put anything on top of it so like I didn't today put anything on top of it so here we go oh let me swatch on the back of my hand first um, okay it's not like um, very super like paint like it has some sheerness to it um, I don't know if it's gonna dry or not it's not like super glossy but I guess we'll see Ooh. So this is the shade Scenic Root. It feels like a lip stain. Like it definitely dried down some. It's it's similar to a matte lip, but it's different, if that makes sense. Like it's not glossy whatsoever, but it also feels a lot thinner and more comfortable than a regular like matte liquid lipstick. Um, this color is gorgeous. Like I am obsessed i can't stop looking at myself <laughs> because this lip color is so pretty it's like natural and like wearable but it's very orangey and corally like depending on what eye look you paired this with you could like completely change the vibe i feel like but i love this lip color with this eye look like hello oh my god the next one we have is in the shade cypress chill this looks to be deeper than the first one but similar like warm toned kind of shade it has more of like a berry undertone so let's try this one out when i was wiping the first one off i accidentally went a little bit too high with the makeup wipe so from now on my my upper lip is just gonna look a little wonky but this one is in the shade cypress chill the next one we have i don't know how you pronounce it it's ojai and then there so ojai space there um this one is more of like a bright orangey corally shade right here. Um, this one is a lot brighter and more neon than the previous two. This is what this shade looks like. This one I found to be a lot less pigmented and more like streaky and I had to work a lot harder to build up an even consistency on the lips it's really pretty um it's not my everyday lip but i think it's really pretty and so far all three of these lips i think look really cute with this eye look this is a lot more like like i said brighter and bolder than the previous two but i still really like it we have two more the next one is in the shade swing away and this is a really pretty bright warm toned red shade actually looks kind of cool toned oh that threw me off um, well, it looks cool toned compared to the rest of them. That is an ugly swatch, but it looks kind of like an orangey red in the tube, but that's really weird. So here we go. The more that I'm trying these on, I feel like they are like a matte liquid lipstick, but just a very comfortable and like thin one. But um, they're definitely not like, ugh, literally, this is so messy. I did such a bad job, but that's completely my fault. Um, I just didn't apply it good. My hand like shook and now... It looks bad, but um, I would consider these a matte liquid lipstick. They are completely transfer resistant. Um, they're just very comfortable. Like I said a million times, I'm just not used to that from a matte lip. And then the last shade we have is Double Double, and I think that's a reference to In N Out. Um, I've never been to In N Out, they don't have that here in Florida, um, but I think I've heard people call them Double Doubles, so I think that's really cute. Um, this is a very bright 
sort of fuchsia pinky purpley shade um this one also looks like it might be more of like a thinner formula than the rest of them there is the swatch right there um yeah see like it just not it doesn't look the same it's not as pigmented i feel like you know honestly i like that it's not as pigmented because i feel like it makes it look a lot more wearable um it's not streaky or <laughs> inconsistent or anything um it's just not as intense on the lips as it looks in the tube which personally i prefer that so i'm really happy with that um so this is what the shade double double looks like all right, you guys, so that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I loved this entire collection. Um, I'm really excited to wear some of these brighter colors this summer. The eyeshadow palette was incredible. The, honestly, the only shade that I wasn't the biggest fan of was the glitter, just because I feel like it didn't make that much of a difference on my eyes, and the fallout from that shade is, is insane. Maybe if you use like a glitter glue or something, it would work better, but um, honestly, that was my least favorite shade. I'm still gonna continue to play around with it and try to figure out how to use it, um, you know, and have it work better, but um, the mattes are amazing. The shade Diego is beautiful on the lids. Like, ugh, I can't stop looking at my lids. Um, the mascaras, I'm gonna have to try another day, and honestly, the eyeliner, oh my gosh, you guys, I am, it's still there. Like, there's no missing patches. Like, that always happens when I apply eyeliner. Like, sorry. <laughs> um, my, you know, just like from the two lines touching together, you know, it gets kind of like patchy and whatever, but it's literally still flawless and I've never experienced this with an eyeliner high end or drugstore. So the fact that these are so inexpensive, just it makes me so happy. And I have a bunch of neon colors in this eyeliner. So hopefully those ones are as good as this one right here. So I will have um, the products linked in the description box. Um, I'm trying to think. I will also leave these lashes linked in the description box. So yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.